Okay, guys, here it is. Game number nine of Fight Club. This is the game that decides it all. Here yep. at the 8 o'clock position on Atlanta Spaceship, we have Slayer's Gonzi. He is our blue Terran player. And at the 1 o'clock, his opponent, hailing from Team Mouse Sports, that is Mana. Yeah, man, this is it indeed. It doesn't get any bigger than this. A best of nine down to the ninth game. And these guys have really shown us an entertaining series. I got to yes. say, it's, it's been awesome. And it was cool to see Mana come back and win that last game. I mean, I really felt like Ganji was just outplaying him this series. But Mana says, no way, man, I'm still in this. And I could see this one going either way, I, I got to say. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very good game on one of our brand new maps, Atlanta Spaceship. Yeah. Of course, this map is gigantic. It is a two-player map, but it is enormous from natural to natural. You have to pass through so many obstacles, such a long walk distance. So it is a very good macro map. It's also spread out enough with uh, few enough Zelnaga Towers that it forces you to keep small groups of units everywhere to prepare for drops or any sort of harassment. Mm -hmm. So I would expect, I, 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 of course, jealous me i'm hoping for that big epic like 50 minute long game to to decide who walks home with the 500 dollars. yeah man i mean we could see that with a map this large it's it's pretty cool I, I i'm curious about the name though atlantis spaceship was this like a spaceship that was at the bottom of the ocean <laughs> and then it like <laughs> came up and lifted off and became a space station i guess so that sounds like the makings of a, a disney film or something i don't know i'm i'm good with it let's do it sure. let's pitch it didn't they make some like atlantis movie some disney thing i believe so yeah i don't know i was on the other side of the bridge we should just go talk right, to them yeah we could i stopped <laughs> watching disney movies after like aladdin ah uh, aladdin good stuff Oh, so here we go now. Probe coming in for Mana, and uh, he's not going to see that gas is already up. Because of the timing of the supply depot, there's really no way to tell one way or the other quite yet. Um, so we'll see what Gonzi decides to do moving through this game. Uh, back on Mana's side of things, though, second gas coming down on 19 supply. Uh, so we're either going to see some tech or a, a quick sentry expand here. Yeah, um, I... I think the map's a little bit big for something like a Void Rail in, although it is still a possibility, sure. I suppose. But I think you're right. I think we're going to see more something like a safer expand build. Yeah, and both these players are um, not taking any unnecessary risk quite yet. This probe is conveniently buried down here. Yeah. Um, oh, you know. If you were going to proxy a Void Ray. Uh, yeah, exactly. Here's the thing. Ganji just put out down his second gas. I wonder if we're going to see Banshees. Here, oh, actually. my. Yeah, in yeah. This, this factory, despite the fact that this is still a very long air distance um, over this path here across the map, that is as close as you can build something inside of your base and still have that work. Uh, probe's going to get yeah. close, but not be able to make it back in. Looking Mana for that is expansion. going to lose that. Yeah. And, I mean, he knows by now that uh, if there would be an expansion, this would be about the time it would be floating out. Eh, maybe not quite yet, but, you know, around the, the similar time. Yeah, will be Banshees, it looks like, from Slayer's Ganji. Waiting a little bit of time to put down that tech lab. There it is. So, yeah, will it be cloaked Banshees, though? That's the question. We'll no. See, I, I would imagine, yes, because of the second gas. Yeah, Mana is actually going after that uh, Sentry Expand I was talking about. He's gone into pretty quick Robo each of the last about three games and yeah. admittedly has done a good job. I mean, one game he almost got killed by Cloaked Banshees, but since then um, he's been doing a pretty good job of driving them off. But this go-around, it's not. He's been going one gate Robo Expands, two gate Robo Expands. This go-around, though, moving into gateway number two, no Robo yet in sight. Yep, gateway number three as well. So uh, he's going to be going, like we see here, they're a little bit gateway heavy. And against Cloaked Banshees, that is not going to help very much. He's still got time to put down the Robo. We'll have to see if he does. But, uh, yeah, things are starting to look a little bit shaky for Mao's Mana. Certainly. And, you know, I got to say, the games that Ganji has been playing best in are the games that he opened Cloaked Banshee and went yep. into kind of a tank marine, you know, with some marauders thrown in kind of mix. It was really good. Oh, but there's a Robo. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So it's coming He's up now. Um, he will, but uh, the Banshee is going to be out. Uh, let's see. That cloak field still has about 65 seconds left on it. The Robox facility, 45. So he'll have enough time to get out the Observer just as Cloak hits. It's actually going to time almost perfectly if the if the Observer is trying to boost it. Yeah, it's such a big map, too, that that Banshee might get a couple probe kills, but it won't be, like, game-ending. At least sure. it shouldn't be anyway. No, I definitely agree with you. Um, all right, so our first Banshee is out. 
And he's making his way across the map. Still no expansion yet. In fact, a second barracks being added. All right. So, so it looks, looks like, like we might have a bit of an all-in here from Slayer's Ganji. Yeah. My, my hope for that 50-minute macro game to end the best of nine may not be yeah. the case. But uh, look at this. It looks like uh, Mana's already on top of, uh, of Banshee defense. There we go. He's got a couple. Oh, no cloak yet. No, it had just finished up. Like I said, just a couple of seconds before that uh, Observer finishes up and that Stalker will survive. That Banshee's going to go down here momentarily. Yeah, you know, killing probes is not going to do a whole lot against Mana. Oh, he's going to lose the Banshee. Oh, oh man, he is. To the oh, what? No, Those the, observer's, the Observer's too far away. Oh. He didn't have detection. They were indeed. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to be careful, though. That Banshee is one hit away from death. Oh, wow. Man, he's just skirting the very edge so of the vision close. range for that. Yeah, he's going to be able to get that home and repair that. Second Banshee coming in, though. And, uh, you know, I mean, when I used to cast with Wolf all the time, if the Protoss expanded against something like that, Wolf would always be like, well, he's just dead. He's just dead. <laughs> he, he wasn't always wrong. But, yeah, it, it's very, very difficult for the Protoss to hold a, uh, a one, you know, a one base timing with Marine Tank Banshee like this if they right. expand. So, yeah, Miles Mana has his work cut out for him. Well, let's see here what's coming up now for Gonzi. Pretty much the same thing that's worked for him a couple of times. Heavy tanks, uh, combat shields on the way. We already have a couple of Immortals up now for Mana. But uh, what is that? Just gateways number four and five yeah, being more added gateways. now. Right. And, uh, well, the Observer sitting right on top of the Banshee, so I don't think the Cloak Shield is going to work terribly well for, uh, for that yeah, particular I mean, one. Yeah, I mean, if Mana especially, you know, I mean, if he gets caught behind a point defense drone once again, um, this could end a disaster for him. We're going to see if a Raven comes up for Gonzi. I assume he's going to before he pushes. He um, may not this time, actually. He's spending a lot of gas on things like tanks and uh, Siege Mode, too. So, yeah, I think this one, unless he adds at the very end, I don't know if there's going to be a Raven with this push. And this time he has actually gone ahead and uh, overproduce on SCVs for one base so that he can do just yep. that, pull a bunch of them with his army as he moves out. Yeah, um, I'm kind of surprised he's not bringing a few more SCVs, honestly. He he could. I mean, it's an all-in, so you know you might as well bring as, as many as you can. He still wants to just be able to continue to produce things like tanks and marines, I suppose, too, so he's leaving enough. And that robotics bay by Mana is not going to be out in time to get those Colossi out, and you really need Colossi to defend something like this. Exactly. It, it can be done otherwise, but it, it's nearly impossible. Right. Um, I mean, if he had started that before he actually started the second Immortal, he would have one Colossus pop out right as this uh, army showed up, and that would actually change things pretty considerably. Oh, the Stalkers, Oops. are they going to be able to catch the Banshee? Yes, they do. Yep, but now they are a little bit split from the other army. Oh His force God. fields are going to need to be really good. We'll see how Ganji decides to engage with this. Oh, here we go. He's got to siege those tanks up. There he goes. Yes, he is. Mana does a nice job at sieging the tanks a little bit farther back. He gives him some room to breathe so he can start moving back a little bit slowly but surely as units come up. He doesn't have enough minerals for a uh, Colossus quite yet, though. He's got to save up. Here There's comes the units. The Zealot's actually closing with a good number of Marines. There's the Medivac so is Marines, healing, though. but there's a nice job. The tanks are actually being slaughtered by the Immortals. Those are flying around. More Marines are starting to reinforce, and those are very effective against Immortals, though. Yeah, if you watch really carefully during that fight, too, you notice he was paying a lot of attention to microing that Banshee, taking out the anti-area units, keeping it alive. And uh, you know what, though? Mas oh, Mana no. Managed to take out the tanks. I think he may hold this. He is going to. The Marines are getting pushed back right now. We're getting right down to the wire. The uh, supplies for our two players are still very even. Siege Tank sitting here on this little dip in the high ground. Very smart spot for that to be. The Immortal has to get up and do damage or smartly just run away at the moment. Yeah. And we do have our first Colossus coming up now. Nice Siege Tank hits there. And, uh, yeah, Mana doing such a great job controlling that last engagement. His force fields were quite good. And it was a little bit more, a little bit too much for Ganji to handle. So, oh, and we have a big oh, drop nice here drop. into the main as well. Is uh, Ganji going to move up in a, in addition to this? No, he's actually picking up a bunch of his Marines right now. Decided that he has done enough damage and wants to go ahead and move on back. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think he's gearing up for one big last push. We'll have to see. I mean, he's not expanding. He's pulling more SCVs. He's still got plenty at home because he's been producing them still. You know, kind of along with all this. And I got to think what you said before. I'm surprised he didn't pull more. I think in that first attack, if he had just buffered more damage with about another 10 SCVs, I think he would have been in a lot better spot in that engagement. But it as it stands, helped, yeah. man is up by 20 supply now. Now he's got his first Colossus out. That is going to be huge in, in continuing to hold this up. Yes. I mean, the supply, like you said, is in Mana's favor. 
I, yeah, I don't think Ganji really has what it takes to do this. And Manish is going to try to break it. He's going for it, putting the Immortals in front. But they took some damage really fast. Both Immortals dying, but the Colossus just doing so much damage to everything. Oh, my God. All of the Banshees are cloaked up at the moment. It doesn't matter because there's an Observer sitting behind. The rest of the Banshees go oh, down. GG is called, wow. and Mana has knocked off Ganji.